Diddy Pig! Hi, I'm Aline, and welcome to my kitchen. And today, I'm going to be making a very quick and easy peach cobbler. Yum, yum. Now, the basic recipe I got, I got from my cookbook here. It is, uh, well, if I can get the paper in there. Now, I'll tell you, these book covers just give me fits. It's called uh, Georgia Cooking in, a, in an Oklahoma Kitchen. It's uh, Trisha Yearwood. I've had this book for many a year. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've had it a good 10, 15, 20 years. I got it before my mom passed away in 2010, so I know I've had it that long. And I use her basic recipe, but I have added one other ingredient. And to me, it makes all the difference in the world. Now, the ingredients that we're going to use, and if uh, Happy Guinea Pig wants to downscope or whatever he wants to do, so I can show you my ingredients. Okay. Starting off, I have one cup of milk. I have two 15 ounce cans of sliced peaches. And what I'm going to do with that is reserve the juice. So I'm going to go ahead and strain those peaches. And just mix the juice in with the milk because you want the juice from both cans. Okay, go ahead and get that going. Next, I have one cup of self rising flour, one cup of sugar, and this is my ingredient a teaspoon of cinnamon. And over here, I have one stick of butter melted in a 9 by 13 baking dish. And you want to make sure you get that melted uh, before you get started. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pour my sugar and my flour. Make sure I have everything out of there. And my cinnamon in my sifter. I'll sift that to the side. And then you just sift all that together. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get one of these little bowls I had the sugar in. And since that right there is pretty much stopped turning, I'm going to set that right there. And you had me a spoon. I forgot to get me a spoon. Y'all, let's put it on. I want a big stirry spoon out of the drawer right there. One of the large ones. What? Damn right there. Yeah, what my granny used to call a tablespoon. I need a stirry spoon. What you do with that is you just pour your milk and peach juice. There. You pour that into your flour and sugar and cinnamon. And you get it all stirred up. You probably need a whisk is what I need, but it's the boom work. I've already got it, pig. But yeah, a whisk actually works better, y'all. I couldn't even think of what I needed a while ago. I'm going to step off screen for just a second. I got a Kit Kat one out. There you go. Sorry about that, folks. That's life, you know. This is my everyday kitchen here. That Kit Kats went in and out all the time. Okay. Got that all stirred together. And what I'm going to do next, I'm going to take these pot holders here and move this over here because this is hot just come out of the oven and I hope y'all can see what I'm doing here hey again I got it all in the frame right there okay so what I'm fixing to do she I'm said gonna, that because pig over here does piggy's doing my dishes for me so I'm pour that batter right there I hate to say it, that didn't mix up as well as I wanted to have cook good. That's fine. I probably should have used my whisk. But you live and you learn, folks. And now what you do is you just take your peaches, both cans, and you just place them in here. Now I have my oven preset for 350 degrees. Get ready to let me know so I can get over there. 
Jill made just a minute, Piggy. I've still got about a can of peaches to do. Great. And like I said, you just put your peaches all on top of your batter mixer. All right, butter. And when I get ready to put this in the oven, if I'm not mistaken, we bake this for right about an hour. I will double check my recipe, y'all, just to make sure. Because sometimes I do make mistakes on that. If we all knew it all would be perfect, then that wouldn't be right, because ain't none of us perfect. That's it. Bake for one hour. And so what I'm going to do, put this over here to the sink, let Piggy come over here and adjust the camera. Y'all going to see me put this in my oven. You'll see that I have my upper rack in because I'm fixing to start on something else for another video here in just a minute. This right here is my peach cobbler going in the oven. I'm set my timer for one hour. Whoops, that's way too much. All right, come on. We want not 63, we want an hour. It's wanting to give her a hard time. Usually it lets me adjust in increments of 30 seconds. This time it's wanting to go three minutes. <laughs> well, well, we'll leave it at 62 and I'll check it before it goes off because I got other things I'm going to be doing. So uh, I'll check back with y'all in about an hour. We'll see what that uh, peach cobbler looks like. Okay, y'all, it's been an hour and the peach cobbler is out. And I tell you, I'm going to have to try a bite of this peach cobbler with a little bit of whipped top. It's uh, it going to be good. But this is what it looks like. Look at that, folks. Oh, boy, that's going to be good. Quick, simple, easy. Look at what we got there put on it. Uh-huh. We got that whipped top in there. So what I'm going to do, and this is hot, y'all, because it's only been out of the oven not even five minutes. But I'm going to just scoop out a little bit for the pig and myself. Oh. Yeah, I go scooping and I hear a kitty cat scratching. Oh yeah, look at that stain come up off of it. I can't tell if y'all can tell it or not. A little bit of that peach in there. But I can tell it in that bowl right there. Oh yeah, look at that stain. Look at that stain. That's nice and hot. Oh yeah. I'm going to give pig a little bit more than I gave myself because I know he likes because, the peach cobbler. Well, after all, I am the pig. <laughs> <laughs> no, Piggy, you're not. Y'all, Piggy's done good. Hey, in the past, let's see, starting back in October, I want to say, he started losing weight. Actually, before October. He tried to start losing weight before September, and in September, he started losing weight really well. And he has gone from 250 pounds down to around 180 cents. The first part of September. Well, 185 to 190, depending on whether or not I've had coffee and food and all that stuff. Well, I'm just saying, you know. But I am close to that 180 mark. He's close to that 180 mark. So that's 70 pounds. And he's kept it off. So indulging in a small treat every now and then doesn't hurt. A lot of it has to do with the way she cooks, too. There you go, Piggy. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's hot. Is that hot? That's hot. Well, I'm going to take me a bite, y'all. You know I am. You buy that peach in there with that whipped cream. Oh, man. It's good without that whipped cream. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. We're doing the happy dance, y'all. That's good stuff. I love peach cobbler. I like food. I love food. What am I saying? Well, y'all, that's how easy it is to make peach cobbler. If you like the recipe, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Click that bell icon, click on all, and you'll be notified every time I upload a video. I try to upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on uh, recipes for foodstuffs. On Sundays, I have Sunday snippets, which could be a recipe, which could be a DIY, which could be anything I'm doing. In the meantime, big going to get jiggy being piggy. Yeah. And every Saturday at 7 p.m., we have uh, a live stream. Everybody's welcome to come in, join, join the chat, and 
I try to have some trivia questions regarding food, and uh, we just have fun. So, everybody have a great day. Thank you for coming by. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. Where's my phone?